Hey everybody, it's curb picking night. I have a mostly empty van. Not sure if there's gonna be anything out there, but let's go take a look. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of tools. Oh my goodness, look at the metal. Oh my goodness. Look at all that scrap metal. That one's stuck. I am not trying to take scrap metal today. We got a next big pile. Let's take a look. Ash bucket with all the fire logs in it. Thank you. I got this one. Really. Didn't show you that. Let's see what else we got here. last house I looked up the uh, Kodak carousel. I had no idea that those things actually sell. I pass those up in the thrift store all the time. So I'm going to circle up and then go back around and, uh, and pick it up because I did, oh, what's that? I did look it up and they do sell so I have to go back and get it. is another musical instrument, but jeez Louise. Look at this thing. How do you even open that?
get up real quick. Holy crap, did you guys see that? Did you see what was in that case? <sighs> Roland JX3P. Look it up. That is the second expensive musical instrument I have found in the last few weeks. Now, I'm well aware that mine looks like crap. I don't know why you just throw a synthesizer away. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. I'm flabbergasted. Those synthesizers sold on, e on eBay for five to $900. This is why on Tuesdays, when I am not in the mood to go out, this is why I make myself go out because I'm afraid of, the fear of missing out is enormous. Like, truly. Oh, I went down the wrong street. This is the kind of thing I'm afraid of missing out on. Can you imagine if, if that was just sitting at the curb until the trash guys come? I mean, maybe one of them would have taken it, but oh boy, a Roland synthesizer. Gotta be from the 80s, Roland synthesizers, right? Some of my favorite songs probably were played on Roland synthesizers since I am a child of the 80s. I am so stoked, so stoked. I um, and I'm in disbelief again. Every time I find something like this, I am in utter disbelief. All right, I'm gonna pick up that uh, Kodak projector now that I forgot earlier. Okay, I had to drop some stuff at home. Thanks to Taco Stacks. What is that? Thanks to Taco Stacks. Ooh, gross. I was able off camera to pick up a able to pick up a Scotty Cameron putter. to remember where this is and come back later. Crossly I juke. Mm, it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything. up a Scotty Cameron putter and uh, I would have never known who Scotty Cameron was without watching his videos so thank you Taco and I'm guessing it goes for anywhere from one to two hundred dollars based on uh, 
when I looked up, I dropped it at home. What is all this? No, I see scrap metal though. I dropped it at home along with that um, synthesizer. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick wrap up because I didn't really get anything else. I got this um, extension cord for scrap. I got this um, pink flamingo lawn thing off camera. You know, obviously it's not vintage, but I figure it'll sell for a, a few bucks. Same for this wire basket. Not vintage, but I'm sure it'll sell. I got this um, ice cream parlor style chair. I got those two cast iron plant stands, which are really cute. I'll hold them till summer, but for the pair, they'll sell for like $15. And I got that table because of the legs. Can you see it? The turned legs. It's kind of like got a flat bottom, like it's supposed to like lean against a wall or something, but that's just screaming to be refinished or, or re-something. Re so I'm gonna re-something that. I don't know what it's gonna be. Maybe I'll try to take off that pink paint first and um, I'll try to redo it and maybe um, Maybe if I can redo it, I'll sell it at the flea market, but that's also probably going to be a spring item. So that was about it. The most exciting thing, again, was the synthesizer. Woohoo! I'll do a follow-up and let you know if I'm able to sell it, if it works. I'm very excited for it. Very, very excited. Um, just recently, we started putting our curb money in a different bank account. You know our other bank accounts don't have any money in them so but it's just for I don't know we've never kept track but now you know it's interesting for some reason to see how much we're making off the curb um, we started the account with the $400 I made by selling the accordion I'm gonna put in the $400 I made at the flea market the other day and then um, if I'm able to sell the synthesizer that will go in also Here's just another shot of that, uh, oh, that's kind of in crappy shape. We'll see what we could do about that. All right, so, um, that's about it. But listen, you saw the stuff I got. That's my second musical instrument in a month. Please go out there, pick through the trash. Don't be ashamed. I mean, there's no shame involved at all, but if there's any shame, it goes on the people who are throwing away things that are worth hundreds of dollars. I mean, people might have a reason for whatever reason. They don't feel comfortable meeting people. They don't feel comfortable selling to strangers. But I mean, there's no shame in taking things like that out of the trash and reusing them, none at all. Go out picking, go find things, post it on the internet, encourage people to do the same. It's the middle of the night and the train's coming by anyway. Jeez Louise. I was just watching, I forget their channel. They pulled five bags of, big bags of fake flowers out of the dumpster at Michael's, all brand new with tags um, that I guess she saw them taking out during the day because it was a change of seasons and she went and got them. And I've told my family members and they're actually gonna go to Michael's and start dumpster diving, so. You know, encourage people to go and reuse and save things from going to the landfill. You know, make good good use of things. So I hope you're out there picking and I hope to see some of your finds. If you find something good, put it in the comments, share it. Let's encourage each, each other to keep picking, keep having a good time, keep making a little cash. And I'll see you on the next one.